You're watching Fox 45 in Baltimore. Now live from TV Hill, this is Be More Lifestyle. Hey, what's up, Baltimore? It's me, Lady T, and this is Be More Lifestyle. We're live from Studio B at Fox Baltimore. All right, so joining me today, meteorologist Justin Chambers is here with us, along with our very own Tara Reeves and wine expert Larissa DeBose. Good morning, you guys. Morning. Oh, good morning. It's good to see you. <laughs> Look at it. All right, let me tell you right now. Your wedding gift to a couple could determine your food choices at a reception. Now, on Reddit's wedding shaming page, someone shared a note to prospective wedding guests, asking them to reveal how much they were com they were planning on spending on their wedding gift. If you gifted $25 to $500, then you could choose roast chicken, swordfish, sliced steak, or salmon. But if you gifted $2,500, you could choose a two-pound lobster and a souvenir champagne goblet. Look at that. Okay, now here's how I would solve this. Now, I would lie, but it's a good lie, okay? I would lie and tell them <laughs> that I'm going to give them $2,500. Then I'm going to ask if I can, <laughs> then I'm going to ask if I can do it in installments, okay? If I can't do it in installments, then okay, we'll show up on the day of and I'll still get my goblet. That's all I want. Now, is this a, is this a, a, a no, a yay or nay on this? I need to hear from JC, because you know, you're just as trifling as me. What, <laughs> what would you do in this situation? First of all, I'm not telling anybody what I'm getting them. They'll find out when they go through, you know, two or three days after the wedding and dig through all their stuff. So it's and a surprise. So, yeah, exactly. It's a surprise. <laughs> and second of all, the food at weddings is nasty anyways. I don't care. What? Like, you, I mean, sometimes it's okay, but yeah. usually it's banquet food. It's been sitting there in a trough, <laughs> you know, just in with those little heating oh. lamp things. So I don't know. But I've had some good food. I haven't had a lobster at a wedding, but I've had some good wedding food before. I get a champagne goblet at the liquor store. I'll be good to go, man. I'm okay, go. so you just like, I can get my own, but you, can yeah. you get a two-pound lobster at the liquor store now? <laughs> no. So let me hear from Tara. Tara. Is this something you looking for the two pound lobster? What are you What are you looking to do here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think that this is absolutely awful because then you have all the wedding guests like guests walking around thinking, okay, they're just eating the chicken. Like clearly, they only paid twenty five dollars for their gift. <laughs> it's like it's just a competition letting now. everyone know that you're cheap or not. I know. I, I hate this. I absolutely hate this. Oh no. my goodness! But I'm with you. I'm gonna say that I spent twenty five hundred dollars, get the lobster, and yeah, then and probably get not lobster. get them anything because clearly they're awful. Yeah. It's, it's, it, you know what, Larissa is looking like. Lobster to go. What do you think about this? <laughs> Listen, you're going to get the same gift that you were going to get prior to uh, this invitation. I agree. I mean, everyone can do what they want, but um, no, that's not my ministry. I'm not going to spend $2,500 on a banquet lobster. So you <laughs> Gift you were going to get, also, and for I wedding, prefer the term cost effective. Also, as a, right. Yeah, I'm a cost effective person. I'm not cheap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, if I'm cheap, I'm cheap. It's that, that's that. If I'm cheap, I'm cheap, whatever. But okay, so obviously, we're not getting a lobster and sharing it. All right, now we want you all out there to tell it. Would you tell the couple how much you gifted them to get better meals? Vote now on our website, foxbaltimore.com slash vote. And and when you get to the website, make sure you click on that lifestyle tab. You can also vote on our Fox 45 News app. At the end of the show, we're going to see what everybody thinks. All right, let me tell you, if you head to a local Taco Bell, the menu might be a little sparse. What? The fast food chain currently has a banner <laughs> at the top of its website reading, sorry if we can't feed your current crave. According to a company spokesperson, national transportation delays hit Taco Bell really hard. Now, hold up, wait. Now, before you get your forks and pitchforks, I'm not a Taco Bell fan. Oh. I'll say that. I know that's shocking. I'm not a Taco Bell fan, but my family is crazy about it, okay? So this shortage, though, so I'm, their menu look kind of sparse anyway. Okay, don't attack me, don't attack me, okay? But the menu look kind of sparse anyway. Which one of y'all are Taco, Bell's fa Taco Bell fans? Tara, are you a Taco Bell person? Okay, let's go to you Girl, as an expert. every day. <laughs> Listen, I will hit up Taco Bell every Cinco de Mayo. I eat Taco Bell more than probably all three of you combined. Yes. Like I can okay. eat Taco Bell for every single meal and now they have breakfast. So we're feeding all the cravings. Big Taco Bell fan, devastated by this news, even more so devastated by this news than the whole Chick-fil-A sauce 
debacle. So mm. I'm saddened by that's, this. You know what? So that's I'm gonna a have big to deal. try and whip up my own. Yeah, it's but you a know big what? Deal. The, yeah. You know what? There's good news though because ta uh, not Taco Bell, but Chick Fil A is allowing us to get six sauces again. I just want to throw that out there. Um, <laughs> Larissa, <laughs> how are you feeling about Taco Bell and this shortage? Is this devastating for you? <laughs> it is not devastating. It's been a long time since I've had Taco Bell, and my recollection is that I felt physically like a place that rhymes with Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. And you know what? And there's no wine pairing for that, I don't think. But uh, you know what? Actually, there are wine pairings. There's wine for pairings Taco for Taco Bell. Well, yeah. it really depends on what okay, you're well, gonna get. We'll so that could be that. a whole nother okay. conversation. We're gonna talk about that in the segment. I'm excited. Okay, JC, are you a Taco Bell fan? Is this, so is this devastating? This is a, this is a, this is this. You've touched a nerve here. Okay? Ooh. You've touched. A Did nerve. I lose a friend? Listen. Did I lose a friend? Taco Bell and I have a very fractured relationship on okay. Facebook. It's complicated between Taco Bell and me right now because they. <laughs> They got rid of the Mexican pizza. They got rid of the Mexican pizza. And that oh. was the only reason my wife would go to Taco Bell with what? me because she liked the Mexican pizza. Now okay. they don't have that. And now they have less stuff. Taco Bell, what are you doing? Come on, please. I want to give you my money. I want I to wanna, give you I my I want to give you the money. But please bring back the Mexican pizza <laughs> for the love of all things. Okay. I got to try this Mexican pizza because obviously it's a big deal. But, you know, hopefully Taco Bell gets it together once again. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. All right, the perfect pairings involve wine and cheese. Still ahead, the mistakes you could be making with your picks. And now is the best time to update your flooring. Next, the deals for Be More Lifestyle viewers happening right now. This Be More Lifestyle segment is sponsored by 50 Floor. Well, you can go out to those crowded big box stores, but why would you want to when 50 Floor brings the big box store right to you? So joining us to talk about 50 Floor is Carolyn Black. So, Tier, all right. So tell our viewers who may not know, why 50 Floor? We are specialists. We do flooring. That's all we do. So that's one good reason to do 50 Floor. Another good reason is we always have big deals. Um, Let's start with the first one, a free in-home consult where one of our flooring specialists will come to your house. So you don't have to go outside in all the heat and humidity. Mm -hmm. You can enjoy this whole shopping process for your new floor from the comfort of your own home. Our flooring specialists will bring hundreds of samples for you to look at so you can actually see what it looks like in the space where you're gonna get the new floor. Why do guessing when you're in a box store somewhere, you get to see it right there in your home, get to ask the flooring specialist any questions you might have about the different flooring and the best type of flooring for the use of your room. This whole in-home consult doesn't cost you one dime. It's absolutely free. I love it. All right, so tell everybody why is now a good time for new floors? Well, okay, so I talked about the shopping experience and then you pick out your floor, right? Well, then the installation um, is often why people delay getting a new floor because they think it's gonna be incredibly disruptive and expensive. Well, with 50 floor and in the month of July, we take those two concerns away. The installation of hardwood, carpet, laminate, and vinyl, all of that that we carry won't cost you a penny. It's our gift to you for the month of July. All right, okay, so talk to us again about how the process works. Okay, so th yeah, that's the second part of the, the wonderful thing about 50 Floor is our install is you setting up a time with our crew that works for your, you and your family where they can come into your home. They're going to move all that furniture off of the floor that you're gonna get replaced. Then the crew will pull up your old floor. We cart it away. If it's carpet, we try to recycle it. Then they're gonna look at that dirty subfloor. You don't wanna put a brand new floor down on dirty on a dirty uh, mm -hmm. platform, right? So we clean all of that really well make any repairs necessary to the subfloor so it's all pristine and ready to put down your brand new floor which we do right then and there then we're going to mop and vacuum again so that we can then put back all your furniture to its original location this whole process typically takes less than one day in july what we're offering is we want you to be able to do that and have your new floor so we're offering zero percent interest financing as long as you pay the balance off in full within the terms of the agreement Okay, amazing. And uh, Little Birdie told me if you mention Be More Lifestyle, you can save an additional little chunk of change, right? Yes, we're going to give you an additional $100 off your flooring products. Okay, sounds amazing. Tell all of our viewers where they can go to get more information. Well, you can go to the website or you can just call 54. All right, appreciate you being here as always.
A new era in technology is here in Baltimore. Next, how the revolutionary tech works. And Wine and Cheese Day is almost here. Next, the perfect pairings for any occasion. Stay tuned. This is Be More Lifestyle. Welcome back. National Wine and Cheese Day is coming up on Sunday. Start preparing your pairings now. Larissa DuBose is a certified wine expert, and she is sharing how we can make the best pairings. Thank you for joining us today, Larissa. I love wine. I'm excited to hear about all of this. So talk to Thank us. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. And it's true. Sunday, July 25th is National Wine and Cheese Day. Who knew that we would devote a day to such an occasion? But here we are. And we want to make sure that you're prepared and that you're ready to enjoy your at-home festivities. So I want to give you a couple tips and clips when it comes to wine and food pairing. And then the number one rule is that you eat and drink what you want. However you like it, however it tastes to you, by all means, go do it. However, there are some things that you can do to help elevate your experience. So when we're thinking about specifically wine and cheese, my basic everyday rule is when we're thinking about those soft cheeses and those cheeses that tend to be really creamy, think about white wines that have higher acidity. For example, we have our today, our Sancerre. This is for the Sauvignon Blanc lovers. So fun fact about the French region, um, France as a wine region, is that they name their wines by region, not by the grape variety. Most of us are familiar with New Zealand style Sauvignon Blancs, but Sincere, coming from the Loire Valley, is going to present really nice minerality, some beautiful citrus notes, and the acidity, which is the most important part for those soft, creamy cheeses. The acidity in wine helps to activate our salivary glands, and it acts like a windshield wiper on our palate, preparing you for the next sip. The most classic pairing is going to be goat cheese, and brie. And again, all of my cheeses are here, so you can see I actually had to do this research last night. It was that real. <laughs> Second thing I want to talk about is rosé. Rosé is every day in my house. I, it's not a seasonal wine for me, but I do understand that this is a wine that tends to be considered seasonal. And Baltimore's own Donna Burston is the owner of Le Fête de Rosé coming out of southern France. This is a wine that is a blend of Grenache, Syrah, and Mouvedre. What his, I actually asked him personally what his favorite pairings are. He mentioned a really nice aged Gruyere. He mentioned, mentioned Comte as well as Tom cheese. So then we want to finally wrap it all up with a pretty bow with my red wine drinkers. The typical rule of thumb for red wine, specifically red wines that have tannin, that drying sensation that happens. Think about tea that's been steeped for too long. You want to pair those with firmer cheeses. Think about aged cheddar and Gouda. And the, the Cabernet that I'm showing today is In Sheep's Clothing from Washington State. So I always say that wine is my passport. Today, literally within three minutes, I was able to take you to France and then all the way over to the left coast in Washington State. So I really hope that those tips and quips helped and that you're able to enjoy. Now, did you have any questions for me, my love? Girl, <laughs> I just realized I've been pairing my wine all wrong. But I do love that you have those ginormous bottles because that I usually finish that in one round. So that's amazing. Uh, can we hang out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we yes, girl. It. That is exactly my... Well, where can we go for more information? Tell me that. Absolutely. So my social media handle is at Lotus My Wine. My website is thelotusandthevines.com. And super excited to con um, connect and keep this party going. Going and cheers, y'all. <laughs> cheers to you too. Thanks, Larissa. Thank you. All right, it's a weather alert day today. Meteorologist Justin Chambers is here now with. I'm right here. Well, they they cut off Lady T because she has to go get some wine and cheese. So. <laughs> It's okay. I hear you there, girl. Yes, I know. I was excited about that segment, but I do have to talk about what's going on. Not only the smoky skies that we have out there right now, you can see from our downtown camera, tough to even make out some of the buildings. And again, that really uh, thick wildfire smoke has settled in just over the last couple of days. This thing, all this smoke has traveled all across the country and settled in right here in central Maryland. That's not why we're under weather alert. However, it's the potential for some strong to severe storms, especially as we get later into this afternoon and evening time and some damaging winds Gus is actually going to be something that we're watching. But with that cold front coming through behind the front, that will actually help to clean the air out a little bit and bring us some nicer conditions for Thursday and Friday. Right now on our HD radar, we are picking up a couple of showers right there on I-76 just west of Harrisburg and Pennsylvania. 
a little cluster of some thunderstorms that are popping up, so I'll keep my eye on that. But as we pull back a little bit further, kind of the leading edge of our next weather maker is right there. It's that big blue line just about to cross into Maryland. That's the leading edge of the cold front. We are warm and even hot as we continue to see those numbers rise above in the upper 80s above average and then it's going to stay right ahead of this cold front. So that's what's going to help to trigger some of those storms this afternoon. And that's why the Storm Prediction Center has a large area of the East Coast under the slight risk for severe weather, which is two on a scale of one to five. That includes southern Baltimore and Harford counties, also areas in Cecil County down through parts of Anne Arundel County, other areas under that marginal risk. So either way, we're going to get into some of this action as we get to the later part of today, not till about two o'clock. Some of these storms are going to fire and then really about three p.m. This line of storms developing from Gaithersburg and Fredericks uh, up into Westminster, right into Cockeysville and Baltimore City and County by about 4 p.m., moving through and across the 95 corridor into the 5 o'clock hour. By 6, 7 o'clock tonight, most of that is going to be all done. We're de definitely tra uh, tra tracking excuse me, the chance for some gusty wind and some heavy rain as well. This is some of the smoke on our wildfire smoke all the way from the West Coast up into the upper levels of the atmosphere and right here into our own backyard. As we see here, going into the later part of today. That smoke will dissipate, especially behind that cold front that's going to be moving through. So improving conditions for our skies and even for our temperatures tomorrow. We're still on our way to a high of 92 today, but mid to upper 80s Thursday and Friday. We'll keep those 80s going on Saturday and then more storms roll in on Sunday and Monday into next week. All right, a new era in TV technology is launching across America, and viewers in Baltimore are about to get a front row seat with the change, a change that will revolutionize and improve the quality of how we watch TV. Baltimore broadcast television, like you're watching right now on Fox 45, is about to change, making your viewing bigger, better, brighter. Next Gen TV is the technology expanding the choice of what you can watch while dramatically advancing the quality of what you see and hear. This breakthrough expands how you can watch a revolutionary convergence. You will see a whole class of services that, that converge. What used to be internet only suddenly is also broadcast and then the two of them come together and, and how we frame that and shape that is going to change uh, over the over the coming very few years the whole face of what what we even those inside of the industry call television a breakthrough with a baltimore tie the sinclair broadcast group has developed and is pioneering the next gen advance fox 45 general manager billy robbins says his station has always been on the cutting edge now with this new technology, we're able to take that to a whole different level and offer new technology to our consumers for free. We're going to offer a whole new slate of programming, interactive programming, and different opportunities for people to watch TV in ways they've never thought of before. But this is just the beginning. In the future, NextGen will put television in the palm of your hand. We're within reach of everybody, uh, wherever they are. It's not just the big screen in the home, but it's... Uh, you know, it's the phone in the pocket, it's the, it's the tablet um, on the train. Advances that will help during severe weather or other life-threatening situations. It's about emergency alerting, it's about informing, it's about uh, all of those things that local television does uniquely, uh, but, uh, but, but there's been this huge disconnect in only serving that big screen on the wall. Bringing free live TV to wherever you are at a high quality when you need it most. In Baltimore, Angela Brown for Fox 45. A couple is offering better meal choices for guests who give more. Vote now on our FoxBaltimore.com website and tell us if you would give more just to get more selections. The results are up next. We wanted you to tell it. Would you tell the couple how much you gifted them to get better meals? Well, 63% say no way. Well, thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy birthday, Brandy! <laughs>